I'm an independent. I really love working with all kinds of people. I don't care what party they're in. I don't care if they're registered to vote. I don't care if they're here with documents or undocumented. I'm a people person, so I want to work for everyone. I think that we all benefit when everybody benefits. I had finished uh, changing the language on a Senate bill, working with someone in Senator Bingaman's office, and we were saying, OK, now we can send it over to the House. And I realized that who was going to be there next year was going to be critical for New Mexico because all three of our House members had stepped aside to run for the Senate. And that's when it sank in, that if people wanted me to run and if there was support, I had to step forward to help the district. I'm still learning them. So, uh, I mean, some of it, you know, there's that book, Everything I Need to Know I Learned in Kindergarten, is to be nice, tell the truth, treat everyone as an equal. And I think that those are the lessons that I'm proud of. I think I'm known for my honesty and integrity. And I'd rather say something that people don't want to hear that's the truth then try and make people happy by telling them something that's not true. Well, my drivers keep me going. I get pretty distracted between phone calls and thinking of things to write down. So thank goodness I have a wonderful group of volunteers that drive me. But what keeps me going is the response I've just had as we go around and talk to people. Uh, today in Las Vegas, announcing I was going to be somewhere having breakfast and someone coming over with an incredible curriculum they developed for students to do rural development. That's what keeps me going, the people that reach out to me and are happy that they're going to have someone that's going to really work hard for them. Uh, working. <laughs> <laughs> Just like I always do. I mean, you know, I have great jobs. I've had so many wonderful things. I mean, the project I would be working on right now, if I wasn't here, is I'm facilitating a group of rural experts across the country, a new national rural task force, and I would probably be writing the work plan for next year. Well, make sure the older people get out of your way. I just replaced myself at my project in Penasco with two incredibly talented Penasco valedictorians that are 23 years old. They left, they went to college, they're well educated and bright. Demand a leadership role. You don't have to sit around and wait because you've done the work and it's your time. You tell us what to do. I mean, I'm excited by the younger generation. They're, they make me so hopeful.